Hey guys, we'll do a quick demonstration on annealing aluminium or aluminum. And the reason for doing that is that aluminium work hardens when you're hammering it or rolling it or whatever you might be doing. So it gets to a point where the structure of the metal changes um, and if you continue working it when it's work hardened, you can end up with cracking. So annealing it is really just changing the structure of the metal and softening it and you can continue to hammer it or roll it or whatever you're doing and continue to anneal and work it ad infinitum. So I will often find that I'll be making a part or working on a part, it'll get hard, I'll come and anneal it, I'll keep working on it, it'll get hard, I'll come and anneal it and you can just keep repeating that process. So the way I was shown by three people, it's been the same way, is to use an oxygen and acetylene torch. So I'm guessing there's other ways to do it, but this is the way I was shown. And I have this equipment, so if you're going to be working on aluminium, having an oxyacetylene torch is a really handy thing as well. So the basic process is, we're going to coat this piece of material with carbon dust, which is we can get from the acetylene flame, and then we're going to burn it off. And that's an indication of the temperature required to anneal this piece of aluminium. So there's other ways I've seen you can do it using soap or using Sharpie marks, but the way I was taught was acetylene um, torch and dust it with carbon. So I'm gonna do a demo and you guys can follow along and see what I do. Okay, so that first step is very simply just using an acetylene flame. There's no oxygen mixed with that flame at all. It's just pure acetylene. And you can see how sooty the flame was. So what we're doing is we're dusting this surface with that soot. And now we're gonna relight that torch and set up a correct uh, neutral flame. So we're gonna mix oxygen back in with that flame. And then we're gonna heat this uh, part up until we, we burn off the, uh, the acetylene soot or the carbon soot. So, we're going to start in a small corner, we're going to work around in a circle and we're going to work our way out along a part. Now I've got this on a steel bench, please don't do it on a timber bench because you'll set your shop on fire. And I've also got it raised off the table, I don't know why I do that, I just prefer to do that because otherwise the heat will be transferred from the aluminium into the bench, it'll just take longer. So I just lift it up with a bit of angle iron just to keep it off the surface. So either do it on a steel bench or do it on a concrete floor if you have to, but don't do it anywhere near flammable materials. So let's light it up and get rid of this soot. Okay, now we're gonna let this air cool. I'm not gonna to touch it for 20 minutes or so and we'll just let it cool in the air and then it will be soft and ready to work. So hopefully that process was helpful for you and you can have a go at this in your own shop.